Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're going to be hooking up our PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controller to PC for Warzone 2.0. So first things first, you're going to want to install this program called DS4. I'll leave a link down in the description. You're going to want to download the latest version. You're going to want to download the x64 bit zip version. Go ahead and hit save. Once it downloads, you're going to want to right click it and hit extract files and hit OK. Once it extracts, you'll have this folder right here. Go ahead and double click it. Double click DS4 Windows and open DS4 Windows. We'll go ahead and keep this open. We're going to move on to the next step here. Next, what you're going to want to do is connect your controller, whether it's a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 controller. I have a PlayStation 4 controller right here, but it's going to be the same method. So in order to put your controller into pairing mode, you're going to be clicking on these two buttons right here. You're going to click them at the same time and hold it down until your device goes into discovery mode. You'll be able to tell if it's in discovery mode when it starts flashing like so. Next, you're going to want to click on the search button down here and type in Bluetooth until you see Bluetooth and other devices settings. Go ahead and click that. Click on add device. And then you're going to click on the top one that says Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens, audio devices, controllers, and more. And while your controller is in pairing mode, you're going to see it pop up here. Go ahead and click it. So once you connect it, it will be solid. Next, we're going to go back to DS4 Windows. So right here, if you see it's connected, it's telling me my battery, it's telling me how it's connected, and I have a selected profile. So we'll talk about more about this profile setting here. If you want to create a new profile, go ahead and click on the Profiles tab. Right here, you're going to click on New. I'm going to ask, do you want to use a preset option? Using No will cause the profile editor to use empty gamepad profile. Let's go ahead and hit Yes. And then the presets, we're going to keep it on gamepad. And then your output controller, we're going to change this from X360 to DualShock 4. So this is how it's going to preset the PlayStation button into the mapping. Once you have that set, go ahead and hit apply. And right here under profiles, you're going to want to name it something. So we'll just call this YouTube tutorial. You can name yours PS4, PS5, you can name it whatever you want essentially. And then go ahead and hit save. We'll go back into profiles, click on YouTube tutorial, click edit. And then right here you have all your controls here. You could edit your max input, dead zone, uh, vertical scale sensitivity. All of this keep on default. You're gonna wanna edit these settings in game. Next, you're going to want to go to the touchpad tab right here. You're going to click on the output mode and change it from mouse to controls. And then you're going to click the pass through click action DS4 mode checked. That's going to allow you to use this touchpad to access your map or the scoreboard, etc. Once you have all those settings changed, go ahead and hit apply. And then hit save. Now every time you load into DS4, for me, I actually have it so it starts up with my computer. You could change that under startup apps. You go into search, type in startup, and click on startup apps. Underneath here, you'll see DS4 Windows. Go ahead and select that on. If you don't like having any startup apps on, that should be off by the way, Microsoft Edge. Uh, go ahead and keep it off, but remember, you're going to have to start the application in order for this to work. So for me, I keep this on. Now go ahead and X out. Another key thing to remember is right now when it starts up, it might select the profile for you. It might be on default. For me, it's on PS4. I personally use my PS4 
profile, but in this instance, I'll show you how you could change that selected profile that we just created. So under DS4, under selected profile, click on the drop down menu and then select YouTube tutorial. That's going to be the controller settings that we just created for this tutorial. And now this should be connected. Once you have the profile selected, go ahead and click on the minimize window button. And there you go. You're good to go. A side note, if you ever want to access your DS4, you could hit the bottom right taskbar button, go to DS4, right click and hit open. Another cool thing they have is if you go back to that menu, right click and go to controller, you could select different profiles without opening up the actual window here. This was a simple, quick, easy way to connect your controller to your PC for Warzone 2.0. I'm pretty stoked. Let me know if I forgot anything in the comments down below. If it was helpful, be sure you leave a thumbs up. Be sure you smash that subscribe button and we'll see you out there. Peace.